Good afternoon, it's uh, Richard at TTS again. Uh, we do a lot of Aerial Atom supercharger kits, but the Aerial Atom has been around a long time and a lot of them have been played with and we're never sure if the kit we supply is going to fit 100%. This particular kit, or this particular car, um, we insisted that it came to us so that we could check it out because there is so much different about it. It's got a SADF uh, ECU, it's got a different fuel rail for the, throttle, uh, for the injectors, the throttle body has been repositioned, uh, there is an, was an oil cooler here, this is the oil cooler for the supercharger now, but there was an oil cooler here which we've had to reposition, and because we've repositioned things we've had to change all the pipe work, the inlet pipe from the supercharger down, is now coming down here with a filter on it just here, and it's been an upward task to get things all working correctly. The map sensor is now upside down connected here because uh, that was in the way. Um, we're now putting the reservoir for the supercharger oil at the side. So it's a million miles away from our standard supercharger kit for the Aerial Atom. Um, and it will work extremely well when it's done, but it's been an uphill struggle to make sure we get everything right. And it's a track car. So it's got to be sound. Um, it's going to be used pretty hard. So we're, we hope to have this up and done by the end of today. Um, and then we've got to do three more of them. So it's, um, it's quite a nice job once we've got into it. Okay, so this is the oil cooler that sat here. And now this is the oil cooler we're going to use, which is on the back of the intercooler for the supercharger. Oh, dripping oil down my sleeve. This was the expansion bottle, which is here. This is going to have to be repositioned so that um, everything works properly. So this is the air intake pipe, nice k &M filter, fits over the end. Brackets sat off the gearbox and was it just there? Keep on getting the this larger supercharger, this is a C38 on this one. As you can see, we're just tacking together the outlet pipe. This is coming up and coming up to the intercooler. And the same goes with the intercooler. And we're using two and a half inch pipe to get the maximum airflow. And then out of, into the intercooler there, out of the intercooler, through to the throttle body. Very short tracks which is good for performance. So we position the air intake sensor into the air pipe after the intercooler, of course, so that the ECU sees the actual air temperature going into the engine. This is very important to keep control um, and keep the mapping correct, um, especially under a hard use. The Atom runs a K20 engine. The late engines are the K20 with the drive bar wire throttle. The early ones have the cable throttle. Some people are putting K24s in. Uh, this one has got the SADF gearbox, which is something the customer's done himself. It's not, to do, not as it comes out of the factory. Um, this is running Pectel ECU, and so all the wiring is different to the standard one. Fuel rail is different. Um, now it's running 1000cc injectors um, to get enough, oil, um, get enough fuel flow to suit the extra air coming in from the supercharger. It's going to be a beast. So we do a standard kit that uh, generally uses the C3094. That gives around 380 to 400 horsepower. And then we do a higher performance kit, which requires engine modifications to keep everything together. A C38 supercharger. And with the right modifications, this can run up to 500 horsepower. Maybe a little bit wild for an Atom. And we first developed the supercharger kit for the Aerial Atom a good 10 years ago and since then Ariel have uh, repositioned the engine and they're now running drive-by-wire throttle. Early, early cars have cable operated throttle. Uh, the engine position is different on the later engine, later car to the earlier car. Um, so we, it's kept us on our toes. We have a lot of changes go on and so it's always nice to know that when a car goes out of here, that the kit is fitting exactly as it should.